Freedom for Animals' recent undercover investigation at Cumbria Safari Zoo, formerly known as South Lake Zoo, revealed numerous concerns about the conditions in which the animals are housed. Flooding has been a major issue for years, with a special zoo inspection carried out in November 2022 in response to the reports received by Freedom for Animals, Born Free, and Westmoreland and Fenness Council, the zoo's licensing body themselves. Inspectors found that poor drainage issues in the Africa House's outdoor enclosure was causing serious welfare issues, with some rhino being kept alone in small barren pens and on a rotation system to get any outdoor time. Yet, at the end of 2023 and into 2024, our investigators witnessed persistent flooding, resulting in no apparent improvement in conditions for the rhinos. Flooding is now an issue in other areas of the zoo. The baboon enclosure's electric fence has suffered flood damage, meaning that the baboons, who typically spend the majority of their time in their outdoor space, were locked indoors for almost five days in a row. On our investigators' previous visit, as far back as spring of 2023, a keeper specifically commented on how grim the indoor baboon enclosure gets, with 26 individuals housed together, and that they chew the wood at the end of the enclosure walls, possibly out of stress due to boredom or overcrowding. This gives you some idea of just how terrible the conditions may have been for the animals trapped in that small enclosure for nearly five days, particularly as keepers were unable to clean it, and the baboons were unable to leave to get any daylight or exercise. There's 26 of them, it just gets so grim, so mm. they, they chew it all, like all that wood, they go, they don't eat it, they just chew it for some reason, but it's not my favourite place for, I like, don't mind the slope, the slope's fine, this isn't my favourite place mm. in the world. Animals should be let into their outdoor enclosures every day to allow keepers to clean their indoor space. However, this does not happen with some animals, such as the Andean bears, because it is too hard to get them to cooperate. Uh, it didn't really need it. I'm going to say, uh, we'll be all right not doing it today. I'm going to do it every other day at the minute just because these pair are a pain in the ass. Because they're like, oh yeah, I don't mind doing it every other day, but doing it every day is going to mess. In summer, then it gets done every day, just it's easier. As a result, this enclosure gets very dirty very quickly. This is made worse by the free roaming lemurs who share the space. Their feces gets stuck to the mesh ceiling and falls down into the bare enclosure. Our investigator also saw food left to rot for at least a day after becoming mouldy. Join us in calling on Westmoreland and Fairness Council to listen to our demands to close down this zoo and rehome the animals to appropriate sanctuaries. Please share this video, sign our petition and support local demonstrations and outreach events.